Good morning everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you just a real simple tree to paint. I've actually painted a larger one of these on my dining room wall at one time. I don't have it on there anymore, but it actually had a, I painted a vase for it to sit down into. This one's just going to be coming from the ground. I'm not going to do all that. Anyways, I will be using two magic flat brushes, a number four, number 12. All these are listed down below. If you want to purchase through my affiliate links, you're welcome to do so. I will be using a number eight Dear Foot Stippler and a fine liner from Westonia. It's actually a fingernail brush. Need to get some new ones. I keep saying that and I haven't ordered any. I have already cleaned off my bottle. This is the bottle that I'm using right now to do videos with. And I paint on it, do my videos, and then I clean it off and it's ready to go for a new one. But basically make sure when you're removing your labels, you get all the gooey stuff off. I do use Goo Gone for mine and rubbing alcohol and Dawn soap to get them clean. Go over it to remove all the fingerprints and any debris that might be left over with rubbing alcohol before you begin. That will help allow your design to adhere better to the glass. All right, we will be using all folk art paints, wicker white, fresh foliage, teddy bear brown, thicket, and this is burnt umber it's actually the outdoor paint, but I'm using, I'm not selling this. I'm actually out of the uh, burn umber and the gloss paint. So I'm just using this to create the video with. All right, so the beginning of the process, I'm gonna use my fine liner, dipping it into the burnt umber, into the teddy bear brown, and a little bit into the white. And I just pu push it in, pull it out, and there you go kind of twirled a little bit all right so i'm going to turn this upside down and it's just sorry that my my air conditioner is turning on of course as soon as i start the video but i'm just doing just wiggly kind of branches coming up and again if you want to you just keep dipping in as you go and create and Keep dipping in. You can do some little stragglies down here. And then just you know keep coming up. I really like how this is working for my my branches. And then when I create my branches, I just I just keep wiggling. You know, they don't need to be anything crazy. Of course not, it's kind of white. So I can go over that with some brown, just kind of get it to be a little bit darker. And I just keep coming up from the base, coming up, can go straight. But I, I don't want my tree to be huge, obviously, because I'm doing, doing this on glass. So, you know, I am gonna come down have a few of the branches, you know, going up. And with something like this, it's really not rocket science. It's just very simple, you know, putting these, your little stems and branches in here. You have them come down. trying to get my arm out of the way. Since I am a lefty, it's a little hard at times, but you, you get the gist, I'm sure. And I just want some to come down here and cross over, just more of a natural look. And like I said, we can do a few more of these, just little sprigs that are coming off coming off. All right, what I'm gonna do now 
because I am going to be painting leaves on this is like I want to make sure that I'm not going to be pulling off too much of the brown while I'm doing this so I'm going to hit it with my heat gun just to make sure I'll be right back. I just thought of something. I probably won't use this number 12 flat brush. You can take that out of your list because I switched off and used the nail brush instead. All right, so for the leaves, I am going to be doing the thicket and the fresh foliage. I can dip in here a little bit into the white if I want just to make it a little bit more opaque and just kind of go back and forth between the flowers and doing that. All right, so let's go ahead and, or not flowers, I'm sorry, leaves. So basically you're just doing these simple little one stroke leaves. Just kind of wherever, wherever you feel like they need to be, but on the top, the top part of the tree, because we're not gonna have any down here. This tree is just one that has the leaves at the top. a fun one to paint very simple if you're new to my channel please know that I do my purpose here is to create easy designs so that if you're a beginner painter you feel comfortable in trying my designs hopefully and you can be successful with it painting is a great stress reliever Anytime you're doing something creative, a lot of times you'll find that it can be very relaxing and rewarding, too. It does not have to be hard. Now, I don't care which way my leaves go as far as whether the dark is at the top or the light. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm just putting them on here. I can turn my brush do some different, you know, up and down, put the darker on the top, the lighter on the top, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mix it up, right? Go back over this. Now when you're doing this, if you feel like you need to, coverage isn't as opaque as you'd like it to be, because remember, the thicker you apply the paint, the more durable it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna go through here. You don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna go through here and put little stems into these leaves, like I'm attaching them. Now you could make these, these attachments, these attachment stems brown if you wanted. Just very light, nondescript really. Just pull them in here. Another thing you could do too if you wanted to come in with some, uh, just maybe some shadow leaves that are just a solid color, you're welcome to do that as well. I'm not gonna do that on this video, but you know, you're welcome to do that. Or any other switches you wanna make, you can do that as well. All right, so you just kinda stand back and look at it and see you know, if you need to add anything else, or if you want any, have it come down a little bit more, you can do that too. Get that in there. All right. So, keeping it simple, I am going to go back into my colors with this fine liner. So I stuck it in here and I just kind of roll it out and then I'm going to come back in and just do some little, little, um, I don't even know what these would be called, just to have them come hang down in the tree. And just make them very light and wavy. Yeah. You can turn it if you need to. 
Or if you need to add, add another color, you can just keep it just really. I'm trying to think what it's actually called because you know when you have like a grapevine wreath, you know sometimes you'll have these little pieces that are kind of little straggles. But I'm sure they have a name to it besides straggles. But you get the gist, right? All right, and the final thing, sweet and simple. I'm going to, at the very bottom, take my Deerfoot stippler, pounce it into the thicket, and then I'm just going to come here at the base and just do some random pulling here, or pouncing, I should say not pulling, but pouncing, just to kind of add in. Now, obviously, I'm going to put in a different, more colors to it than this. But this just, since I'm not putting a pot, I'm making it like it's it's just coming out of the ground. Just kind of random padding. And there you go. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. Very cute. Simple. Anybody can do this. You're a beginner. Give it a try. All right. Hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would please take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. It's very simple. Just hit the share button underneath. It'll give you your options and you're good to go. All right. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one.